For every activity in ACT, ACT offers something called the activity details. So if you, let's look at uh, Mackenzie Jensen. And if we look at uh, Mackenzie Jensen at this uh, uh, meeting, we'll double click on it and uh, we can look at the details and these are the details for that meeting. So this meeting, these are details for the meeting. Now, we offer a mechanism where you can actually modify these details from Outlook. So let's look. So we, we have run the synchronization. So now we'll look at the Mackenzie Jensen, this meeting. And we can see that the contact, the, the details are actually listed above the sync marker. So we, we can edit these details, add more information more information into the details so anything above the sync marker anything above is the activities details so anything above the uh, the sync marker is the activities details oh I misspelled activities so let's just activity no I don't know so let's give this a try. Let's save it and then we'll sync. So now we can go to the synchronizer and uh, click on process. Click on the auto sync that ensures that all the data from from Outlook coming to act is automatically integrated. Click on process that will show me the status and it's done. So let's have a look at the ACT now. So let's get back into ACT and then at the McKinsey Jensen record and open the activity. And then we go to the details and all the details are there that we entered in Outlook. So all the, the details get put above the sync marker in Outlook and then they get uh, synchronized back into ACT.